Yes, William Ruto amefika sasa kuenda uh, kutoa pole zake pale nyumbani uh, tunajua awali alitoa risala za rambi rambi kumkumbuka rais mstaafu kama kiongozi ambaye alikuwa mpenda watu kiongozi ambaye utawala wake ni sharti uigwe na kila mmoja kiongozi ambaye alitaka kutangamanisha kila mmoja cha msingi akisema kilichomvutia zaidi ni nidhamu yake kuhusu masuala ya dini akisema ni kiongozi ambaye alipenda dini sana na alitaka kila mmoja awe ni mwenye uh, kuheshimu dini kufuata dini kufuata um, um, uh, mambo ambayo yanafunzwa na dini kuhusu kupendana kuishi pamoja uh, kuishi kuishi kama watu wa moja na pia akisema kwamba ni kiongozi ambaye alitetea na kukuza sana elimu ili kuona kuwa maisha ya kila mmoja anaimarishwa kupitia elimu akajenga shule nyingi akajenga taasisi nyingi akahakikisha kwamba kuna mfumo wa elimu bila malipo ili kila mmoja kuweza kufaidi na sasa hivi tunamuona pale akiandamana na viongozi wengine wa chama cha kanu pamoja na familia kwenda kukutana na familia hapa ni eneo la Cabernet Gardens hapa jijini Nairobi ambako tutamtarajia wakati wote sasa atakuwa akiweka pole zake kwenye daftari ambalo limekuwa pale kila mmoja kuweza kuwa ndika uh, risala zake na tunamuona anapokelewa pale na familia uh, hapa nyumbani kwa rais wa pili wa taifa Daniel Arap Moi ni naibu wa rais daktari William Ruto ambaye sasa hivi amefika katika maeneo ya Cabernet Gardens kuenda kutuma risala zake na sasa hivi ndiye huyo ameketi pale kuenda kuandika kwenye daftari uh, maombi yake au risala zake kwa familia naomba nikupeleke kule kidogo kisha tarudi mm. But let me say on uh, my behalf and behalf of my family, a uh, very big answer to your family. Uh, uh, our second president. that uh, Mzee Moi brought up uh, his family, his blood family, and his wife, and uh, the rest of us became part of the latter. Uh, he mentored uh, many of us. I think we were very frequent visitors in 
in this home. We are the people we are today because uh, Mzee Moi mentored us and uh, gave us an opportunity to be leaders in Kenya. And without a doubt, he is a hero to many. And uh, I think I can correctly say I speak on behalf of many who Mzee Moi mentored into leadership. And so uh, to you, the family of Mzee, you have lost a father and the head of your family, but we too, as his children in other ways, have lost a father and a mentor in many ways that we can recount. And uh, we share in, the, in this moment of sorrow. And we've come here so that we can stand with you. Uh, I, want to be, I want you to be assured that uh, all of us and uh, the whole government stands with you at this very critical moment. Uh, His Excellency the President had requested me earlier to um, mobilize the cabinet so that we can come here tomorrow. But after some consultations, we uh, came to the conclusion that uh, we will come on Friday when His Excellency the President comes so that we can pay our respects as the government of Kenya to you as a family, uh, for you to know and appreciate that uh, you are a part of the legacy of our country. And Mzee Moi, uh, the history of our country, when it is written finally, uh, several chapters will be about Mzee if not several books will be about him. So again, on behalf of uh, His Excellency the President and the Government of Kenya, as I represent here today to the family, to Senator Gideon, to uh, Mashimiwa, and to all the other family members, to Nasema Polenisana. Na um, there will be consultations between uh, the people, the steering committee, under the head of public service with the family on the rest of the journey that will uh, go on from here. And uh, as His Excellency the President met the proclamation this morning, uh, our former president will be given a state funeral and all the rights that deserves a man who made a huge contribution to the nation that we have today. I do not wish to say more again to all of you. I want to say, Pole, um, If there was something that anybody could have done, I think uh, there is no doubt in anybody's mind that Kenya would have been mobilized to do because uh, Moi touched many lives and uh, impacted our country in a way that I don't think any other president has. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm. hey. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Deputy President. Thank you very much for coming to pay your respects to the second president of the Republic, Asante Nisana. Um, what uh, earlier in the course of the day, Mr. Matiani was here, was it Matiani was here? Also, the CEF was here. 
and uh, they also registered their condolences and um, played the support of the state because it has become a state function now. Mm -hmm. So most of everything really will be done by the government. So we would like to say profoundly thank you very much. Thank you for what you are doing. And uh, we've also, we also asked them to convey those messages to, I mean, those the gratitude we feel to the president himself. So I would not say very much. It's only for me to say thank you so much for, because the person you honor in Delhi is Mze. You work with Mze, we are with you, Mze. And Iko wakati tulikuwa hapo na wengine walikuwa kisema hapo ilikuwa kote waiki waiki wakati njilo. So, so uh, this place brings back a lot of memories for many, many, many people. So to wind up, Nikusema, too, thank you so much. And that we will be waiting for you on Friday to welcome you here so that you can, you and your colleagues can also come and express the same that you have expressed. Thank you so much. I need to interview the members of family. Oh, OK. OK, for me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know everybody has to say <laughs> OK. Um, Edward. <laughs> 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 That's uh, William Edward, uh, Doris' son. Who uh, is uh, Jonathan's daughter. I think I know her. You know her? Uh, is someone here in reality? No. There's no one there. Yeah. And I think, yeah. I think you know the deputy president. Yeah. Yes, that is uh, uh, former Mr. Jonathan. Who you need to be Who you need to be able to be able to be able to be able to be to be able 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 they're not new to me. And Hapa took on a zero choke, Doris' daughter. Now, Hapa in the young June, and of course, you know Doris. Now, Hoko, I'm sure you know SD Wakan, Panasalaki, Mrs. John McMoy, Eunice John McMoy. So, thank you very much, Mr. Deputy President. Asante Sana. Congo, Mr. Yeah. ni naibu rais daktari William Ruto ambaye amezuru nyumbani kwa marehemu rais wa pili wa taifa Daniel Arap Moi kutoa risala zake kwa familia pale tunamuona Kipchumba Murko na ambaye ni senator wa eneo la Elgeyo Marakwet au county ya Elgeyo Marakwet akiwa mmoja wa viongozi ambao wameandamana na naibu rais kutuma risala zao tumemuona pia Oscar Sudi ambaye ni mbunge wa Kapsiret tumemuona Nick Salat ambaye pia ni katibu mkuu wa chama cha Kano miongoni mwa viongozi wengi tu ambao wameenda kutuma risala zao kwa familia ya marehemu rais wa pili wa taifa la Kenya Tumeona naibu Rais akizungumza pale akisema kwamba wao pia kama vijana kama wanafunzi kama vijana ambao walijifunza sana kutoka kwa Rais Mstafu wao pia wanaomboleza si 